These are magnets and ball bearings, and they locate this magnetic tool setter mount onto a base that lives in the machine. Hey, hey, welcome back. I just wanted to make a quick video to show off a new tool that I picked up. You guys know that I don't really tell you guys to buy things. That's not really my jam. I don't, you know, every now and then when I see something that's super amazing, like I'll, I'll recommend it. But for the most part, I just kind of try to share my experiences. I've never really had the need to pull one of the tool setters off any of our machines, okay? Our, our Akuma M560 has a run sharp tool setter. It lives on the table. Our Hoskin 2 has a tool setter lives on the table. Uh, both of our little style machines have tool setters. They're wired, but they do live on the table. But I ended up buying this fixture plate from Saunders Machine Works. And I bought the fixture plate because I had been using one of their mod vices on one of the Pearson Palace systems. And I really like that kind of like low profile, you know, widely variable or widely adjustable size range. And I thought, man, a couple of mod vices would be great in conjunction with one of their fixture plates. And so far it has been. But one of the challenges is that when you're cutting a large flat part that's like close to the maximum you know, work envelope of the machine, is that a face mill and it, you know a lot of other you know, end mills, they get close to the tool setter or could collide, could very easily collide with the tool setter. And so lo and behold, I had saw a video from John over on YouTube, uh, John SL, and he had found this magnetic mount for uh, the Runner Shot Tool Setter by a company called Exact Engineering. And so this is just me making a video showing you guys this pretty cool tool. One other function that, in addition to being a pretty cool device, I'm not gonna give you guys the repeatability and all that stuff because with my luck, uh, you know, mine will repeat, mine actually has repeated within less than two tenths every single time I've taken it on and off. But with my luck, you guys will go buy one and it'll repeat within like one or two thousands and then I'll get all kinds of you know, hate comments. Anyways, I bought this thing from Exact Engineering. It came within a couple of uh, days. I'm a pretty big fan of it. It's rated to, I think, maybe two Gs of acceleration, which I don't really have to worry about in, in my case. But uh, yeah, anyway, so come on over to the workbench. We'll grab this thing out of the, uh, we'll grab this thing out of the box, and then uh, I'll show you guys this thing installed on the machine. So if this is something that you guys are considering, if you're gonna do tool breakage detection, maybe this isn't the perfect application. Um, but it always leaves you with the option of easily removing and replacing the tool setter with a lot of repeatability in uh, my experience. It's made by a company called Exact Engineering. And what it is, is a quick mount for your Renishaw tool setter. It's actually pretty trick. And so if you guys see right here, it allows you to take your tool setter on and off the table. Now, I almost never, I, I never really would consider doing this in the past because I do a lot of tool breakage detection and you need the tool setter on the table for that to operate. But with the new Saunders Machine Works fixture plate that I purchased, we really, uh, we really need the space for working on some of the low profile parts that are on the mod vise. So here, look like we have, it looks like there's a, a bolt with some magnets. They come with this. I'll try to make this quick for you guys. This is packaged up all nice and neat. Oh yeah, they did a great job. This is all this is all sealed up. So the way this works, the way this works is this is a magnetic base. I'm sorry, this the way this works is that there's this base plate right here that has these chamfered holes that have these round pins. And this is a chip guard that's turned out of a piece of Delrin that prevents magnets from building up on the base. And this is kind of the magic right here. What really sold me on this setup was that uh, I didn't realize that optics were actually used and mounted in this uh, this way, but what you have, I'm struggling here. So what you have are three Preston ball bearings and you put the magnets in these three points right here. Then these ball bearings will fit into these slots and they'll mount in an incredibly repeatable uh, way, accurate and repeatable way. And apparently this is the way laboratories mount different pieces of optical equipment, like lasers and things like that. And so, uh, yeah, you have like this, these kind of like these double point, it's like, 
it's minimal contact on each ball bearing, obviously two, two points on each ball bearing, and so it's incredibly repeatable. And then, since you obviously are gonna have magnets in this top side to hold this whole operation together, you buy this chip guard that they sell separately, and then it protects you from getting chips into the system. So that's it. So now all I have to do is take a few minutes and get this base mounted onto here, and then mounted onto here, get this installed on the table, and we're off and running.